What's up, it's Chris Herio. Welcome to another vlog. Today I wanna to show you an exercise that does not belong in your workout routines. And I'm gonna be showing you some alternative exercises that you can do that are gonna be more effective for building muscle and engaging the same muscle groups. And the exercise that I'm referring to is the dive bomber push up. So let me do a couple reps to show you what it looks like. All right, so there we have the dive bomber push-up. Now this exercise is good for warming up your shoulders, stretching out your lower back and your hamstrings. Basically, it's a good exercise for warming up, but it's not a good exercise for building muscle, especially when there's more effective exercises with a larger range of motion like the push-up and pike push-up. Now the dive bomber push-up is a compound exercise that incorporates multiple muscle groups, emphasizing mainly on your shoulders, chest, and your triceps. But because of the position and range of motion of this exercise, you're actually not efficiently working out any of these muscle groups. Because you're not in a full Full pike position or in the optimal push-up position, you're never gonna properly overload those muscle groups or even give them the full range of motion to fully engage the muscle. If you're trying to use the dive bomber push-up to build your shoulders and your chest, you're better off replacing this exercise with variations of the push-up and pike push-up. These two exercises and their variations are gonna be way more effective at overloading your shoulders, your chest, and even your triceps with a full range of motion as opposed to a portion of that motion with the dive bomber push-up. Not only are these exercises gonna give you way more strength and muscle, but they're gonna progress your fitness level and directly transfer you into harder exercises. For example, once you master the dive bomber push-up, there's not gonna be another variation that's gonna increase the overload or the difficulty of this exercise. On the other hand, the pike push-up and the push-up has many variations that you can progress to that will increase the overload as well as the difficulty. In fact, even the easiest progressions of these two exercises are going to be more effective than the dive bomber push-up. So with that said, I'm going to show you four variations to these two exercises and how their variations will progress your strength and overload your muscle starting from the easiest progression to the hardest. So let's start with pipe push-ups that emphasize on your shoulders. And remember, to get this routine on your phone, make sure you've downloaded the Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube section and you should find this routine and you're ready to get started. So let's get into the first exercise, pipe push-ups. I'm going to go for 10 reps. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So let's start in a push-up position. You're going to walk your feet all the way up until your shoulders and your hips are stacked. And then you're going to come straight down with the crown of your head and back up. All right, so there we have pipe push-ups. So the first thing that you're gonna notice from these pipe push-ups is the pipe position. You're stacking way more of your body weight onto your shoulders versus the dive bomber push-up position. And in this position, you're overloading your shoulders way more in a way more effective angle. And doing it this way is gonna build way more strength and muscle for your shoulders. And this is just the first progression. And once you've mastered this exercise, you can apply the same form and strength that you've built to the next harder progression, which will be the elevated pipe push-up. So let me go ahead and do 10 reps and show you what that looks like. Put your feet on an elevated surface. Again, you want to pike up. Put the majority of your weight onto your shoulders. Crown of your head down. Pike. All right, so there we have the elevated pike push-ups. By elevating our feet, we're putting even more weight onto our shoulders, which would be the equivalent of adding more weight onto a bar when doing shoulder press at the gym. And once you've been able to master these, you could then translate the strength and form to the next harder progression, adding more overload onto your shoulders with handstand push-ups against the wall. So let's go for 10 reps.
All right, so there we have handstand push-ups against the wall. Again, we're just going up the progressions and continuing to increase the overload onto your shoulders. And once you can do handstand push-ups against the wall with the right training, you'll be able to take that strength and form that you've gained and be able to do them freestanding. And doing freestanding handstand push-ups will apply your entire body weight onto your shoulders as you won't have the assistance from the wall as well as the balance. And doing the handstand push-ups off the wall will also require a lot more stabilization muscles to help you balance as you go up and down on your handstand push-ups. So let's go for 10 really quick. All right, so there we have a quick 10 set of handstand push-ups. Now we're gonna move on to the push-up variations that will build muscle and strength for your chest and your triceps as well. And the first exercise we're gonna start off with, which is the easiest progression, is gonna be incline push-ups. I'm gonna go for a quick set of 10. Let's get it. You wanna make sure that your whole body is straight from your toes to your shoulders, and you wanna come down keeping that same form to your chest, and then back up. All right, so there we have incline push-ups. If you're having trouble with push-ups, you should actually start off with the incline push-up. Being in this incline position is gonna alleviate some of the weight and overload that you're applying to your chest by keeping form and increasing the volume, but still effectively engaging your chest and your triceps with a great range of motion. And remember, the higher your hand placement is, the easier it's gonna be, and the lower your hand placement is, the more weight you're applying onto your exercise. Now, once you've mastered this exercise, you're ready to take that strength and form and apply it to the actual push-up. So let's get down on the floor and do 10 push-ups. You wanna be straight, again, from your toes to your shoulders, come down, keeping the same form, all the way down, all the way up. All right, so there we have the push-up. If you'd like more instruction on how to do the perfect push-up, then check out my video, How to Do More Push-ups. Now, one thing that you'll see and feel from doing push-ups is that your body weight is always on top of your arms and your lower body is never drooping down, giving the push-up a way better angle and position for engaging your chest and your triceps than the dive bomber push-up. Now, once you've mastered the push-up, you're ready to take that strength and form to the next progression, which is gonna be elevated push-ups. Elevating your feet from a push-up position, and that's gonna apply more weight onto your chest and your triceps. So let's go ahead and go for 10 reps. So you want to keep perfect form, your whole body straight, come all the way down as low as you can, come right back up. Now if you wanted to increase the difficulty and emphasize more in your triceps, you can always go for diamond push-ups as well. All right, so there we have it. Now I'm gonna show you guys another progression that's gonna to continue to increase the difficulty. That's gonna be explosive push-ups. And once you get into these, explosive push-ups are gonna give you tremendous strength and power, but you can't get here without first working your way up the progressions. So if you're first starting to learn explosive push-ups, you can always do them flat on the ground in a normal push-up position. And of course, to take it a step further and apply more weight onto your chest and triceps, you can do them elevated. So that's what I'll be doing. Let's go for 10 reps. You wanna go all the way down and explode. All right, there we have the explosive push-ups. And it doesn't end here for either of the two exercises, push-ups or pike push-ups. There's many other variations that you can continue to progress, building more strength and muscle, like full planche push-ups, 90 degree push-ups, and a lot more advanced exercises that directly stem from these two exercises and their variations. So with that said, if you were doing the dive bomber push-up in your workout routine, replace them with these exercises instead, and leave the dive bomber push-up in your warm-up. It's still a good exercise to warm up your shoulders, stretch your spine, as well as your hamstrings, but it's definitely not optimal for building strength 
strength and muscle or even reaching hypertrophy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something or you liked the video, then definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about and share this video with a friend that's still doing dive bomber push-ups in their workout routine. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Harry apparel. Don't forget to get this workout routine on your phone as well as full access to all my personal workouts and workout programs that I've created with specific goals in mind, like burning fat and building solid muscle simultaneously with little to no equipment, then make sure you downloaded the Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Then go to harrierpro.com and become a member to get full access to all my personal routines and programs, getting you in the best shape of your life. It's like having me as a personal trainer right in your pocket. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me on IG. And if you're enjoying the music on my channel, then make sure you follow my SoundCloud. That's where I post all my music first, but you can also find my music on all music platforms from Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, Instagram, and even TikTok. In fact, I just dropped a brand new track called Hold Me Close. Here's a preview of what it sounds like. Guys.